Hello Twin Flames, thank you for being here, for liking, subscribing and all the amazing comments and feedback you leave me, it means the world as you know and if you are new to the channel, welcome, subscribe, join our family because we're here for you every day. So today it's Sunday and because I'm doing the weekly reading and the horoscope reading, we're going to do the daily Twin Flame reading as a pick up aisle. So we're going to use the Divine Animals Oracle for everyone. So I'm going to give you an animal that's connecting with your journey today and why. And then we're going to use three decks of cards that you can choose from. So for pile one, we've got the power of love by the amazing James Van Prop. So if you're guided to pile one, there's going to be some messages in here for you about your journey today, what's going on and what's coming in. For pile two, we've got the soul's journey by James Van Prop. And this is a gorgeous deck, they all are. So if you're guided to the colours of this deck or you guided to this or this kind of wheel energy is pulling you in, this will be the pile for you. And for pile three, we're going to use the amazing Sacred Destiny Oracle by Denise Lim. So when you're ready, pick your pile. One, two, and three. I am going to timestamp the readings in the description box below. Maybe you want to watch all of this reading, take the bits that resonate with you. And we usually find anyway when we do a daily twin flame reading, as a pick a pile, it's the same kind of energy. There just may be extra messages in your particular pile. So one, two, and three, pick your pile. Okay, let's do this. So pile one. So let's see what you need to know right now. Okay, what's the energy, please, angel? Wow. Straight out the deck, okay? And let's do an animal card for you. What do you need to know? Wow. Okay. So the energy, first of all, is release. Wow. Very powerful. Really resonates with the masculine reading today. Something needs to be released to bring you together. So this could be the release of fear, the release of a karmic situation, the release of a block, the release to move forward. Sometimes all we have to do is release control. You know, as a divine feminine, we try to control things, make things happen, force things, put everything into a timeline or a category or a wave. And we have to release it to heaven and learn to trust in the timing of our journey and the timing of our life. It says you have the ability to give over unwanted energies to the loving force of the universe. And I love that because today is the 22nd. And 22, energy, 222, 22, 22, all about the universe having your back. So things are being released right now in your connection to move it forward. So the animals around you, we've got the deer. Now the deer is obviously connected with the stag, which is the promise of your union. But the deer is also about kindness and compassion and understanding. Because the deer is also the energy of the divine feminine. So the deer is the feminine and the stag is the masculine. And you can see you've got the feminine there rising up. Knowing that she has power. And the stag just there behind. So you know the masculine is showing you the stag as a big sign of union. And I'm seeing this as like a gold energy too. So if you see a gold stag or if you see an illuminated stag. Big sign of power. And we've got the red fox. So the red fox is saying the journey is taking place now. What does the fox say? The fox is all about solutions and decisions. Decisions to release. Decisions to let go. Deli decisions to trust. They gave me the word delicious. So delicious decisions. So trust this journey because it's going to become even more delicious and tasty than you can even imagine. And the red is connected with divine timing. And this beautiful umbrella energy is about shielding. You know, you've been shielded right now, remember. Whenever there seems to be a delay in your union, it's because there's something being delayed for at that reason. So you've been protected from lower energies or, you know, karmic binds that are very negative. You've been protected. And the masculine is saying to you, I am releasing what needs to go. And this is also releasing yourself and shielding yourself from negative energy. We've got the armadillo. So this is also that big shield. You know, armadillos have that shield on them. They have protection. So you're being protected. Your journey has been illuminated and you are safe. So this is the energy of Archangel Michael protecting your connection. And we've got the fruit bat or the flying fox. So because this is a flying fox... 
And the fox is about that solution. That solution is flying forwards. It's making things happen. And these are things that have happened through the dark times. The bat is a nocturnal creature like the owl. And the owl sees things from all sides. You know, sees things from a higher point of view, a higher perspective by blessing the past and releasing the past and looking forward. So big message here about change. And we've got rhinoceros. So this is power. And the person sitting on the rhinoceros there is very wise. So this is also that you're guided by people around you in your life, that you are a leader, that you're moving forward fearlessly and fiercely. And meditation and breath work is the key to feeling at peace during all of this change. So, so much power and passion and purpose coming into your life. So I'm going to read from the, wherever I put the card deck, here we go, the Divine Animals Oracle, because I love these creatures. So first of all, we've got the deer. So we know that the deer is connected with the stag. And we've got the 11, which is about awakening and power. So it says, it is, it's power. It says, you are enough. You are worthy. And they're giving me the word worldly as well, because you're very wise in this physical world. That's why you've come. So everything you're going through on your journey is teaching you about the world and who you are and why you've come into this world as a spiritual being having this human experience. It says ethics are a part of building genuine personal power. So stand strong in front of bullies and hold your boundaries and be strong. Be proud of what you've achieved, but humble in your outlook. So you stand up for what you believe in. You know, the stag is saying, love conquers all. Love, it gets through things. Love prevails. Love finds the answers. Love overcomes the challenges. Love stands up to the people who may be trying to get in the way. So this is about doors opening and power. The red fox, which is beautiful. You know, the red fox is power. So the red fox and I mean, this is just about transformation and mirrored energy as well. I mean, look at this, you know, that divide. Divide is illusion. Fear is illusion. Trust in the power of who you are. Know yourself. So the red fox then, let's find this card. The red fox. There's no number on this that I can see either. So again, this is about realizing that it's not always the numbers that you see. It's other things. It's the way that you get shown things in nature. The way that we understand. So I'm not being guided to actually check that card out at all. Because I can't find it, but they're not guiding me to. And the armadillo, the angels are actually saying, you know, I don't need to. Because intuitively they're showing you the truth. You know, that you're rising up. You're finding your light and your purpose and your power. So, yeah. Very powerful. Here we go. We've got Red Fox's strategy. It says, work through a strategy to get what you want. This is a time of transformation, so do not hide who you really are. Be part of nature, not apart from nature. Be patient because your opportunity will come. So these, this is saying it's all falling into place. Things are being released right now to move forward. You don't have to check the guidebook or the rule book. So throw that away. So in other words, it doesn't go to plan sometimes. We try and make a plan. And when it doesn't go to plan, we can go into fear and panic and struggle because we worry, are we doing it right? Are we doing something wrong? Is it working out? And the angel's saying it's all working out beautifully. Things are moving forward. Things are being released. So trust in the love. The masculine is moving towards you and your journey is safe. I hope that helps. Have a great day and I'll see you soon. Very powerful. Put these back. Pal 2, welcome. So you've chosen this gorgeous deck. So what do we need to know right now about your connection? What do we need to know? Here we go. And what animals are around your connection and why? What do we need to know? Here we go. Wow. A lot of animals coming out. So first of all, we've got humour. I choose to focus on the lighter side of life. So bring humour into your day and your connection. Use humour to lighten the load so you don't take it all so serious. And when you come together... Make it light-hearted and playful and fun. So you laugh together and you have fun together. Instead of dragging up the past and going over how bad it all was, start remembering how good everything is now. So use humour to lighten your life. And we do take things too serious on this journey. 
we do take things personally, we struggle, we worry, instead of just being in the flow of the now. And the angels are reminding you, and they're giving me fear, that when you go into fear or worry or anxiety, to be in the flow of the now, to, you know, laugh at the journey sometimes and just have some fun and focus on love. So the way we tap into light-hearted energy is to remember the love. To focus on the love, not the fear. To remember the love. To remember the way the love makes you feel. How love enhances your life. And that we've come here to learn love. To respond with love and be in love. In love with life as well as our journey. I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things. So see the good in this journey. Yes, we go through hurt on this journey and pain and struggle. But we also learn and grow so much and find our way and we become the person we've truly wanted to be so have fun feel good light-hearted do things you love to do so the animals around you we've got the falcon and the falcon is a about this energy of flight you know falcons are birds of prey and they move into the flight towards what they want so this is power you know rising high and magic and this is a peregrine falcon so this is also about you know being bigger than any trigger and tougher than any obstacle or challenge so what i'm feeling with this is know your power remember how big this journey is in other words there's always a bigger picture there's things going on behind the scenes that you may not even see so find the humor in things and rise above it by feeling free and we've got wolverine and Wolverine is powerful because this is the energy of the wolf spirit, which is very much about telepathic communication and that bond you share, but also about fighting for what you want. You know, Wolverine is a fighter, very strong. So this is the energy of the masculine, getting strong now. They give me rocky music, getting strong now. You know, fighting for what you want, being a survivor. And the cat is about psychic power, intuition independence taking off that mask seeing from both sides of the story and understanding both sides of the situation so it's also about having compassion for this journey and each other and the links is power power movement taking control i'm feeling the magician in this card understanding who you are and the tarantula is reaching for what you want reaching out the tarantula is connected with divine power and the universal energy, understanding that you are scary sometimes to your masculine. You know, tarantulas can be scary, but they're also in tune with everything. So the masculine is sometimes afraid of your power and your light because they don't understand it. But when they do, when we learn about this journey, we understand and see things from a higher perspective, it no longer brings in fear. And the ball is about moving ahead taking that power back, making things happen. And this is also Taurus energy, which we're actually just moved out of now. So the Taurus has moved things forward. The energy of the bull has created change. And we've got the jackal rising up strong, knowing your power, knowing who you are, taking the masks off. So you're being reminded in your journey that during the silence and the quiet times and the times where the masculine seem to be hiding or wearing a mask, that's when you learn the most about love. That's when you learn to trust in the psychic connection and the spiritual bond and the way you feel. And you rise up and know your truth. So this is all about power. Power and strength and integrity. And understanding that look on the, bar the bright side, the lighter side of things. To know who you are and where you're going and what to do. And that bull is bringing in that power to ground yourself, to connect with the earth, to remember you are of the earth, but you're not of it. You walk in it, you walk around in it, but you're from somewhere else because you are liquid love, you are source and you are power. So remember that power today. Remember that everything has a plan and everything has a reason and there's always a bigger picture and the masculines are working hard to transform and become the person that they were truly born to be. So those masks are coming off. Yet during those silent times, it's when we grow and learn and evolve so much. 
I hope this helps. Have a great day and I'll see you soon. Pal three, welcome. So let's see what you need to know about your connection right now. What do we need to know, please, angels? Thank you, thank you. And what animals are around you and your twin right now? What animals are guiding you? So the energy is released. Love it because really in sync again with the masculine reading, all three piles have had this similar energy about release. And the energy of this tree is that fall energy where the leaves fall off, but they grow again in the spring. So things fall together sometimes by falling apart. And you're realising that right now more and more because you are moving forward. And we have to let things go to move forward. We have to release things to go forward. So there's some form of release taking place in both of your lives. You've had to release certain ways of thinking and certain things in your life to be preparing for your union. And your masculine is still releasing things in theirs. But you're on the right path and this is showing this to you. So you're on the right path. It may feel like it's taking the long way around, but you're getting there in the end. So you're already on the path to your union. And we've got the dog for loyalty. So you're being reminded that your masculine is loyal to you. I'm also picking up on Sagittarius energy in this and the wolf spirit and the archer. So have that vision. Remember that whatever's going on, if something is triggering you or challenging you or upsetting you, your masculine is loyal to you. Remember that. Don't let anything or anyone or anything that's going on in the world affect your vibration or your focus or your talent, your talent of knowing the truth because you are a cosmic being. So have unwavering faith on this journey now. And the gorilla is also power. You know, gorillas are very loving creatures. They're very strong. I mean, this is a silverback gorilla. You don't mess with him. So he's a very, I feel your master is a very strong, dynamic person, very loving and kind and, you know, wants to protect you and the, the future that you share. So this is also about family because the gorilla also takes care of family. So your masculine just may be releasing things in their life that they care about. They're making sure all the loose ends are tied up. You know, they don't want to hurt anyone. They're doing it the right way. Yet he has this amazing vision of your future. So he is very loyal to you. So the masculine does spend a lot of time alone. He's a lone wolf in a way. You know, he's a lone gorilla. Because even though, and they're giving me a motorbike there as well, that may mean something to you. But the gorilla is, yes, he's, he, he loves family and he has the people around him he needs to have around him. But he's also a lone creature. You know, this, they're showing me your masculine spends a lot of time on his own thinking planning, processing, understanding, and also connecting with you and connecting with his spiritual self because he's connecting with the heavens there. He's connecting with the spiritual aspects of himself. So he's a very spiritual person. He's a very deep person. There's many, many layers to your masculine that other people don't see. So you see inside. So don't let anything knock you off your path because people are going to say things and do things that make you think but you know your truth inside and you know that you have to allow those things to fall away to get stronger so there's things being released to move things forward right now and your masculine is doing a lot of healing work but he's definitely on his way to you and he's showing that to you so who cares what people say or think you know he's loyal to you don't let anything make you feel otherwise because everything is falling together and falling into place. I hope this helps. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.